Hello! My hair looks awful. I was laying down. Anyways, uh, I am changing the way I do video game reviews. I'm no longer going to give a score, nor am I going to talk about the bad things about a video game. Here's my thinking. A lot of times video game reviews have a score of 1 to 5. 1 to 10, or 1 to 100. Problem is, those scales I don't actually agree with. It's like, okay, if a game is given like a 3 out of 5, it's supposed to mean to them, like, oh, it's average. Although 2.5 would be technically more in the middle. But anyways, I just don't like the negativity that comes with reviews. I mean, if a game gets a 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10, everyone's like, oh, it's amazing, you should get it. If it's like an 8 or 7 out of 10, they're like, yeah, it's all right. If it's 6 or below, everyone's like, oh, it's awful. Well, I'm questioning that scale. The reason being, if you see a trailer for a game and do a little bit of research or just watch the trailer and it catches your attention, don't let a review stop you from purchasing that video game. There are cult classics that um, may not get good scores, but they are playable, they have a good story, there's at least some features that make the game worth playing, and that is why I don't agree with this current scoring system. So, what I've decided to do, I'm going to talk about the features of a game that I like that make it worth playing for me. But I'm not going to give a score or tell the things that are not good about the game. Because, see, if you really want a game, you're still going to buy it. And I, or anybody else, are just as qualified to tell you things about a game. But at the same time, I don't think anyone is qualified to tell you that a game is not worth buying. I think... You should think for yourself and try any game that looks good to you or interesting. So having said that, with my first system, well, this new system in, pl in place, the first game I will actually review will be Final Fantasy XV. I'm not going to do any reviews yet, as I'm not too far in. I'm only like 19 hours in. But I will review it once I get further in and um, go from there. But thanks for tuning in, and I hope that you really do reconsider the rating system as well, because there are games worth playing that don't get 9 or 10 out of 10s, or even 7 or 8s. Some games only have 5 or 6 or below, and they still have some playable values. So I would encourage you to think for yourself. I want to know, what are some games that everyone told you not to play, but you still played and enjoyed anyways? Please leave a comment below. I would like to hear from you, and y'all have a good day.